Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our final matchup here tonight in Season 20 of the Championship Playoffs. Tonight, our final matchup is an Elite. My favorite tier because it's the tier that I'm in. And let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we have a banger of a matchup here tonight. I, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the craziest series that I've casted since I've been casting in RC. This being my first season casting in RC, and I've never been more excited. Joining along me again is my brother, Carnage. How are you feeling? Were you excited for this? This is going to be crazy. I'm excited for it because I'm looking at the goals again before we go over there, and it's just crazy. But I'm also looking at the rosters because there's a player on there that gave me Nightmares Arrival, and to see him still dominating is even scarier. But then I look across, and there was somebody else that also dominated me in Rival. So this is just... I, I might get PTSD when they start pulling out the pulling out their fancy moves again. But I, the way that last series that we were talking about the orcas and the wheelchairs was going, <laughs> if that's how they want to play the game, and we want to go to game seven like that, hey, I'm I'm all for it. For anybody that doesn't know, that's just now tuning in, the Great Whites they swept their way all the way up to the finals here, and they were just they've been chilling, they've been you know waiting for the outcome of the wheelchairs and orcas. And me being an elite, I was in elite chat, and my buddy Donald was was so nice of him to be giving us time updates and stamps. And the Orcas were about to reverse sweep. They took the wheelchairs all the way to game seven. Game six ended in a like just a like a slugfest. It was like a it was like a seven six victory. It was an absolute slugfest. And now the, the wheelchairs went into game seven, hold their, held their composure, and they got the dub, and now they're here. But they have a hill to climb and a monster to slay of the sea out of the great whites here, Carnage. Oh, yeah. Let's move into the stats so people can see what we're seeing. That's why we're so excited for this matchup. They're probably wondering why we're so no excited right now. But, like, when you look at these stats that are coming up here, the wins and losses are a little are a little bit separated, but then you look at the goals for they like to score. You look at the goals against, they are right down the middle. They're not gonna give you too many goals, but the wheelchairs definitely will play defense at that 259. And they're also shooting around the same shooting percentage. So it looks like it's either gonna be a back and forth or maybe somebody rides off that momentum that he's got though, because game sevens are very long and very draining being a couple of those myself and then shark attack just swept all the way through they might they might be ready they have time to you know catch a catch a show or two maybe get a little something to eat something to water watch a replay about the wheelchairs or even watch that match because that's that's the killer right there to come in and watch that match and see what they're about to go up against yeah definitely and another crazy stat for you that's not shown on this with me saying that the great whites swept their way all the way up here they beat a bunch of big name teams. They they swept the number four seed and the wild card. They went to the quarterfinals and played the number one seed. Absolutely swept them out of the water as well. And then they went and played the number two seed, swept them out of the water yet again. So now they're here. So just this this everybody you would think it's like the Great Whites. They're a fan favorite because they're sweeping. You know, it's just a no-brainer. They're going to win this. But you have the wheelchairs that are going to come in here. They're going to prevent that from happening. They're going to do their absolute best to do so. And we should jump over to the player stats. So yeah. we're looking at these players. And I've, I've done a cast for Elite. My very first cast for Elite was the wheelchairs versus the thrashers. And... Both of these teams decided to just absolutely meme on me because they wanted to. And looking at the wheelchairs, you see Wiggle Bean. Okay, so <laughs> when I cast it for them, they were the Wiggle Chairs. So I'm really hoping to see that the Wiggle Chairs wiggle their way all the way on the victory. <laughs> but enough of the team names and the player names and everything. Looking at the player stats for the wheelchairs, you have Gumwee, who's has played seven he has played 61 games he has 72 goals with 189 shots leading the team in his goals for the team which is absolutely crazy and looking at the other players too they're just all around you see everybody above 25 percent shooting percentage for the wheelchairs oh yeah and going to the other side you see the same for uh, hammerheads might not 
as efficient, but they, you know, they got here. That's all that matters. But looking at it, it looks like one person likes to just rip shots. He might even rip one from the most impossible angle. That's possibly Zach. But the, the the familiar face for me is Little Panda. Little Panda always has these weird stats where it's like, oh, he kind of, you know, he facilitates. But the last time he got to this this point where he's kind of facilitated, he ended up dropping like 400 a game. So, like, that's something to look out is, you know, experience over some of the newbies coming in. But the last time we saw somebody with a whole bunch of shots, Wicked, which was not too long ago, we kind of saw how that how that how that pin fell from the disc. Definitely, I mean, you know, a bit of dominant team like the Pygmy Sperms coming in and just putting on an absolute performance. It's going to be interesting to see what both of these teams can do. I mean, you have the great whites that have been all odds against them, playing absolute dominant teams out of elite and sweeping them, making them look silly, just making it look easy. And now they're coming in and playing a pretty good, decent team out of the wheelchairs. They were in my division, and the wheelchairs were not a team to sleep on. So if you're if you're a great great white player, you do not want to be sleeping on this team. This team is definitely here, ready to rock and roll, ready to play, absolutely just ready to dominate. But we should be done talking about all these players because as we said in the last the last series, it doesn't matter about the player stats in the regular season. It doesn't matter about the team stats in the regular season. We are giving them the green light. It is a playoff time. All these t- all these players are in their form. And we're getting into game one, ladies and gentlemen. And to start the season 20 elite finals, the wheelchairs versus the great whites. Here we go. We got possibly kicking off versus. Really? I, there's so many wigglies. I might, we might not even know the names. What's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an early save from KRS. Tipped around. Here comes another Wiggly. We're just going to call them Wiggles. Because here comes <laughs> another Wiggly. There you go. And I'm pretty sure they're also. No, they're, thank God they're not wearing the same car skin and everything. Because I would have just quit. But here we go. Right now, Hammerhead's got them. Actually, there's a whole bunch of whips in the middle. There's no one in the net, but Pen doesn't have enough. He's just going to try to get over one. Gets it. Can't get around the second one. Here comes a 50. But that Ooh. 50 is annihilated. That's going to put Zach in an impossible angle. But he gets the double out. And here comes this. Gum we quickly getting the ball up in the air. And here comes the hammerheads. Right now it looks like it's a battle for midfield control. Because honestly, they're only getting booms on one side or the other, but without that midfield boost, without that midfield control, you don't have too much going for you right here, Wicked. Yeah, definitely. And that's just it, it is right here, you know. This is a lead, this is a lot fast paced and challenger as a shot comes in from Lil Panda and he gets it to go in to get the first goal for the great whites here in this seven game series. But as the point that I was trying to make, this is a lot fast paced than it is in Challenger. So these teams, they're not going to be like Challenger. They're not going to be trying to control the ball. They're going to play Boomer Bowl. They're going to be testing the uh, the clears. They're going to be testing what what team is what on defense. And right now, that's what you're seeing in this game one. And I'm expecting to see that in the game one. And game two is probably going to be a different story. But right now, the story is the Great Whites are up one goal in this number one in this first game. As Gumwee gets a good 50, beats round one, but that's in. And Gumwee Wigglebean with his first goal in the series. And this this game is tied 1-1 one one with 342 left. 1-1 one, one already, 342. And like I said, it looks like it's about to be a shootout because they like to score in bunches. And right here, we got another one. Possibly going to go for another. Can he get it out in the angle that he needs it from? Nope. It's going to be, oh, it's a whiff. Might have been a fake, proper fake because they're going to go for a kickoff play. Can't get it. Possibly up in the air is going to try to bait one. They actually do not bite on it, and it gets to 50 that throws them off. And right now is another midfield control, but we got a demo on the back end that can cause panic if you heard it. And then KRS gets thrown into the sidewall, can't take a shot. Then here we go. There's no booze. He's going to float it to see what they're reading with. We got right now, they're going for demos. They're actually always sitting under like 100 boosts to combined total, unless they go to refill and come back in. But what they're doing is they're just kind of sitting, waiting, and then they just start harassing the hammerheads. You can't get anything going if you can't pass it to them. And right now, possibly, he's going to try to hold on to the ball, tries to win a 50, actually makes him slam it out of his own net, possibly gets a flick up. Here comes KRS, but KRS reads it wrong. Now he needs to keep up with it. Little Pen is on a one-on-one situation, wins the one-on-one situation, but now he's stuck in another one-on-one situation. Gets the same and he knocks it down. KRS cut the post and ends up own goaling, folks. And that, 
<laughs> peek in the chat. <laughs> usually, yes. usually they're pretty, they're pretty good at rotating back post, but he tried to cut it and it gets punished. It actually punishes himself for it. You know, that's absolutely crazy. KRS playing for the other team. You know, you're you're giving them the moral that they need. But I'm gonna give you a crazy stat here, Carnage. Me last season, I was with Azathoth, right? This is the first time since season 15 that Azathoth is not going to win Elite. Five seasons. Last season, I was a part of the Glorious Four Peat, and now you're seeing different teams. So now we're going to have a different crown. Somebody's going to be crowned differently here as the wheelchairs are looking to take this game number one. There's two minutes left. Anything can happen as right there, oh as I said, KRS just coming in, making something happen with a doink on the, the corner of the wheelchairs and they were trying to figure out what to do with no boost but chaos was like i ain't going to give you no time to think i'm just going to doink it in your net as he does and ties the game up with two or five left krs made up for his mistake right when they needed the most little pen is going to try to cause some problems krs up again can't get back to it. he's not going to have enough boost but he's going to read it right here it's going to be a pass right into the middle here comes here comes Panda and possibly Panda can't squeeze it through, but Hammerheads are not, or not Hammerheads, but the Great Rights are not going to leave oh. the area with boost. They're challenging with zero, and actually, this is something that's a little bit different from Challenger. With zero boost, if they have one person that actually eliminated Little Panda, that's what I was about to explain, oh. if they have zero boost, they stay in until the next person can actually come up there, whether they have boost or not. Something, another demo that right now the wheelchairs are putting the great white sharks in the wheelchair because they're just demoing one after another this might be an open shot it's a pop-up here comes a wiggle bean wiggle bean gets bumped away here comes a second shooter it's a fake then the third one is going to bail out to be safe here puts it into the corner but gets demo for his efforts little panda's going after him after getting demo himself and now it's going back to a back and forth race this might be a double tap in no it's a double tap save and here comes a second shot. It's another save because he was still on the back wall after saving the first one. Then we're going to keep going. And it's going to be a clear. It's going to really release some of the pressure here, but they're going to reload and come right back at him. It's a weak infield pass, but he gets a strong dunk here. And it's going to slow the game down, but it's going to be a pinch that goes back across. Oh. Who's up first? It's going to be the wheelchairs going up first. And now the wheelchairs are starting to clamp it down on them. They're running out of boost. There's a demo. Little pen is going to try to release the pressure. Wiggle Bean is going to give it up to another wiggle. No wiggles coming in to shoot yet. <laughs> they're going to go straight to the corner here. There's going to be a pinch across. And right now they're working the play. Uh -oh. They might sneak in. No. They're just slightly off. I don't think he thought he had the opportunity there to get a shot. And now the great whites are fighting for their lives to get back into the deep water because they're getting pulled out of the ocean right now. And this should relinquish some of that pressure just to get them some boost and reload here, Wicked. Ten seconds left here, ladies and gentlemen. We might be seeing a game one overtime. And I think the wheelchairs have seen enough overtimes from their last series. And we look like we might be having that. Unless Zach has something to say. Otherwise, KRS is looking to get a flick. And Wiggle Bean Wrangler just denies him for anything happening. And we have an overtime here in game one. Kickoff win for the for the wheelchairs and the Grand Wee Wiggle Bean getting the kickoff goal for to to win game one for the wheelchairs and what a good kickoff win for Wiggle Bean Wrangler and Grand Wee doing a really good job of cheating up there and getting a goal to give the wheelchairs their first win here in this seven game series. If it does go to seven, you never know. But the wheelchairs oh, making wheelchairs. a big statement here in game one. They just wiggled their wheels after they won. I saw it. They, they did it. But, <laughs> yeah, they did. And you know what's you also gotta... crazy here? So this is now the Great Whites have swept their all way all the way up here, and now they just lost their first game here in the playoffs. Absolutely crazy. And the wheelchairs were the ones to do it. And that's what I was going to point out. Like, do you think this kind of messes with the Great Whites? You know, you swept everyone. You get here, and then give off. I wouldn't say it was an easy kickoff goal. You still got to win the kickoff, but... You know, kickoff goals change a lot in the game, especially now. Kickoff is probably one of the most utilized things to start your offensive approach here. Definitely. And, you know, the the wheelchairs have been doing a really good job this past game with their 50s in that kickoff, winning a majority of those kickoffs and uh, setting stuff up for their teammates. But... Now you're starting to think with this is like this is just game one. So, you know, everybody's still probably going to fill themselves out in game two is what I'm expecting. But 
with the wheelchairs getting that first victory off of the Great Whites and the Great Whites losing their first game in the playoffs. It, it's like, okay, so now what are we going to do? We just lost our first game. Are they going to keep their mental? Are they going to keep their composure? Be like, okay, you know, shake it off and we'll go in here and try to just win the last four games and, you know, get the championship. But the wheelchairs, the way they're playing right now, they're trying to play in your mouth and in your face and taking boost and everything on the other side. But we're getting here in the game too. So will Will Panda starting us off here offense, but it has no boost to keep it going. And Wigglebean oh, Wrangler be also punish. shot, and what a freaking slot by Wigglebean Wrangler. Top Barsky's in. And now we have the wheelchairs up, one to nothing early in game two. And right there, the great white try to keep the pressure, but then it was just an awkward push of the ball that made him the soft tap. And he wanted to go right with it, but he just kind of kills it. Zach misses the redirect, and they might get punished again real soon because they just still 100. And right now, they're all under 100 boosts. Actually, at a collective, they only have about 40. And here we go. Wiggle's going to get to the other wiggle. Here comes the third wiggle. And now it's just a whole bunch. Maybe the name change is confusing them because right now, the great rice are starting to get spaced out. Why is possibly on the ceiling? And they're trying to throw everything at them. This might actually get them a goal. No, KRS got denied before he could take the shot. Possibly he's going to toss it back up, but they're going to keep him grounded. No air dribble for him. And right now, now, the wiggles are, well, the wheelchairs are not going to face a little bit of pressure because the boom ball's going to go all the way back down, but no one's going to go for it because Penda doesn't have any boost. There's a demo on the back end. This is going to open up a lot. There's not enough boost. So if it's a drop shot, it's going to put him in trouble. But the respawn saves him because here comes KRS. And now the hammerhead are the great whites, my fault. Folks are going right back into just a whole bunch of pressure because they can't they cannot secure their boots now wicked we know what happens if you can't secure your boots especially in this tier you will get punished you can only hold off for so long yeah definitely here as you see a punish come in and almost another sh another goal for the wheelchairs and possibly Zach going to rally this ball up but gets denied in the midfield again by the wheelchairs and Grand Wing gets a good 50 downfield. It's an open net. Can Wilco Bean Wrangler get it around and get a center? No, he can't. He steals boost instead. Gumwe taking his time, letting the ball come to him. Gets demoed for his efforts. Grand Wee gets the ball down, back downfield. Looking to get another touch on the ball. Doesn't get make contact. Wilco Bean Wrangler has to make a save here. He has no boost. They're stealing boost now. The Great Whites are stealing, starting to steal boost, starting to pick apart this team. Can they make something come out of this? As they do, KRS gets it around one. Gumwe has to make a a goal line save in which he does and Zach with no boost and now oh it looks a little awkward there a little, little bit just a little bit but wiggle bean wrangler he's wrangling that ball up really good to bring the ball downfield and set up another offensive pressure possibly for the wheelchairs yeah it looks like whatever the wheelchairs are doing I believe it's the demos is throwing the great the great whites off maybe the great whites hadn't played a physical team because the wheelchairs, every time they feel like they're under pressure or they feel threatened, the first thing they do is just go bump somebody. They don't care about the ball. They just want to slow down the rotation. And the Hammerheads can't get their pass plays going because now they're getting 50. One's falling slow. It's going to be a wide shot. That's an awkward shot there. And little Penn's going to try to corral it. Gets 50. And here we go. This is where they lock him in. He's going to go for the pinch. It gets a pinch across. It's rolling. He's up. Miss reason because instead of a skip, it rolled. And little Penn is going to get a hold of the ball. They're not allowing them to leave this half. I'm looking at them. They're rotating as far as half field. Actually, one actually just went all the way back to correcting me there but the ball is sitting back to their half and now they're coming right back into the half they're being very patient the third call here he didn't think he was gonna whiff it and now they're going right back after him he's gonna put over again little pen has got to get it away harris is gonna go for the infield pass here goes the one two three it's so oh. fake and now this might be a hundred boots on the table here a little pen bumps him off so it doesn't matter here comes the fake the redirect it's oh gonna my be goodness. an awkward angle is gonna be technically an own goal but that was all fours due to like just numbers after numbers do they have three or do they have 10 on the field wicket I, I don't know but it's absolutely insane what's happening right now and it's the the, wheel, the wheelchairs are doing really good with offensive pressure they're they're picking apart this great whites team making them look absolutely silly on defense and we're seeing almost the same thing that we saw in the pygmy sperms this last series in challenger 
where the pygmy sperms were sending two people forward and having one person sit back and get boost and then come in for an attack that starts to come back on their side to prevent any offense happening for the great whites but maybe the great whites need to start doing what the squalls tried to start doing and maybe do a little bit better at it getting demos but right now we have the ball coming back downfield and it's a shot on net by krs and it's off the post and you hate to see that if you're a great whites fan you have th we're coming up here on 30 seconds here uh carnage and, and it looks like the wheelchairs are about to take another game off of the great whites and again like like you said, like the Pygmies were dominant, but where they dominated the most is dominating the defensive half. They got the goals on quick counters. They got the goals on the demos when it was time. Here comes another one. Couldn't bump KRS in time, but takes him for a ride. Panda's going to go up, try to avoid a bump. Does the, and the pressure is putting him under because they can't get to it. He didn't have enough boost because the boost still came out of the back end right there. And it was just a lob to the corner. The wheelchairs have taken everything from them. They've taken the momentum. They look they're going to take the Elite Championship. And with that, they're also taking the boost from them. And the Hammerheads are looking lost out here. They can't They can't hit an infield pass. It's like it's going to be a <laughs> kickoff play. No boost right here. It's going to be this slam back down. It's going to be a comfortable win from the wheelchairs here. And it looks like possibly Zach's just going to let it die out here. He's going to let's get to the next game. Let's figure this out. Because right now, it looks like that Game 7 hype has pushed the wheelchairs right where they need to be, sitting comfortably with 2-0. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like we're going be to be doing a remake in the server. People are having a little bit of connection issues right now. And everybody asked for a remake. But you were talking about a comfortable win for the wheelchairs here in this game, too. Why don't we just say that it is a outstanding dominant win for them? Getting a win like that is just, it, it sets a tone because of the simple fact that the Great Whites, as I've been saying, and beating the dead horse now, the Great Whites swept their way all the way up here to this finals, and now they're looking to get swept themselves, losing game number two. And you're starting to think to think yourself now, are the Great Whites starting to fall apart mentally? Are they, are they realizing, hey, you know, we've been playing teams that, and I'm not trying to harp on anybody or on any of those teams over in Solar, but have we played teams that are not, as good as these wheelchairs like the, the wheelchairs are an absolutely good team and now they need to they kind of just need to mentally reset themselves and figure out okay this is what we need to do we need to work as a team work as a unit and figure out how to pick apart this team yeah, it's just one of those things they got to sit there they got to talk it out because the play is it's a very eerie feeling from the challenger series the plays are there you're hitting the ball you're hitting the post so now you got to start adding maybe an extra level maybe an actual tactical fake like you said go at the ball because they might miss it that's what that's what got the squalls almost a couple of games they just you know the first man thought like if he misses it i'm gonna touch it and that's what they did they get the touch they get they go after him but the main thing is they're not securing that boost pad. You don't secure your own boost pad. Even if you got 94, if I see, a, if I see an opponent coming after it, I got to take it, you know, and hope that your teammate on the ground could just stay there. You go to the back wall or something because they're just allowing them to just, you know, set up shop at this point. They're, they're about to build a whole neighborhood there for the, um, the whole uh, franchise. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting here in the game three side of the wheelchairs of defense. Possibly Zach looking to get a pass for KRS. KRS unable to make contact with the ball. And Zach is looking to start beating people up. Granway has no boost here. He's going to rally the ball. Gets a good save. Gets a flick. Looking to get a 50, which he does. And another 50. But he has no boost, so he has to leave here. KRS taking his time with the ball. Looking to get a 50, as he does. And oh. he has to run back. And nobody able to score. Low Panda's up. And Big Wifty's coming out on the goal line on the side of the wheelchairs and the Great Whites. And now the, the wheelchairs are starting to bang this ball down for a counterattack. Wiggle Bean Wrangler here with the ball. Looking to set something up. Gumwe up. Gets a beat number one. Looking for a double tap. Granwe there. And now we're starting to see more, again, offensive pressure for the wheelchairs. They're starting to swallow and pick apart the Great Whites yet again. Taking boost. Looking for bit bumps. Gumwe. Oh, that was almost a crazy play. And... Uh, now, as I said again, more offense on the side of the wheelchairs. Oh, here comes Karras. Karras gets the flip. Reset. Throws it way high. 
putting everyone awkward. And then actually, no! The Great Whites cannot buy a goal right now. They haven't scored in almost an entire two games. They can't get one in here. And in the next 40 seconds, if they don't score, oh no! It's going to be 10 minutes, no goals for them. And you got to be feeling for him because the ball's knocked out again. He's going to dunk his teammate. But Panda has enough boost. But... Wiggle is just going to throw himself at the ball to get out of here. The Hammerheads have a game plan, but they need to execute the shooting. Here's that fake I'm talking about. Does get the fake, but Panda's too close to get any power. And now we're going to go back on the other way after a demo. Now it's now it's a back and forth game. They need to get the 50, gets the 50. KRS doesn't just need to hold on to the ball. No one goes for it. And now he's going to reload up. 30 on the, 30 on the roof. He's going for the flip reset. Can't get the flip reset because Panda's going to deny him. And now, they, and now the Great Whites are back in the same position they were back in game two. But now, now if KRS has anything else to say about it, doesn't need any boost. It's going to go right after him. It's going to be a save from the wheelchairs. The wheelchairs are going to try to keep this perfect this perfect game, this perfect oh three or goodness. two games up for now. The ball can get lobbed all the way back down. It's going to be oh. a redirect goal. And it's going to go top 90. One, two. And you've got a hand up in the, into the space, but he just couldn't get to it in time. Not snipe some wicked. I mean, you uh, absolutely not, sniper. All that yeah. effort just he did was, not pay off. He was like Chris Carl out there with that snipe of a redirect. And <laughs> you know what was funny leading up to that was all these te- both all the players on each team were just playing with the with the gang. And Zach gets a beat over one and ties the game up. And this is the momentum that the Great Whites need after the last two games that they have lost and a big fifty by KRS. And it just seems like now that KRS has to be the one to be, be putting a big body up and hit, telling everybody to hit the weight room with a 50 like that. And now we have a tied game here with a little over, little less than half a game remaining here in this game three. Uh oh, Zach has 100. Little oh. Panda's going sniping. We can't get it. KRS now has to chase. Even though he doesn't have any boost, he's still in supersonic. He's getting around the ball. Can I get the flick? I understood what he wanted to do. But now they're going to try to demo from behind. KRS feeling the pressure. Here comes a double. No. Now KRS is going to harass him. At this point, now it's who gets in front of whose rotation messes him up. He was looking for a double. Must have got a real bad touch out of that one. A bad read. And here goes the infield pass. Here goes the infield flick. Can't get over one. Goes for the bump. Bumps him. But bumps him right into the boost. So now they might have to reload again. Little Panda's got to go all the way back. They have another redirect. Does he get a double? Does not get the double. Panda's up first. Possibly Zach's going to need to do everything in his power to get the ball out, but they're not going to allow it. KRS is going to try to get demolished, but does luckily little Panda was already on a rotation back because here comes another attack. Ball goes to the side. Now he gets demo out. The ball's going to go all the way out to the outside again, and KRS needs to go up with him. It's a it's a redirect. Can he get to it? No, he's going to push it out. He understood the third man was back. And right here, this is going to be a very critical point for the great great whites that they they're getting out of pressure but then there's no one down there to kind of you know complete staying down there they just kind of throw it out to get boost and then they're like come after us again that's going to be a dangerous ball and we've got wiggle wiggle beam putting the goal away from granby who just stayed with it got the control with zero boost and that's the car control you need if you want a championship here it's just absolutely crazy the way that the wheelchairs are playing right now. They're looking for self passes to themselves. So this might be a goal here to tie this game back up. KRS up gets denied by Granwee. But as I was saying, the the wheelchairs aren't banging the ball away and giving the uh, Great Whites possession. They're taking their time with the ball. Even when they're going off the wall, they're... They're doing their best to get a self pass themselves to keep on keep on going with the motions, and that's what's working out. It's just working out for them. They're playing simple rocket league and they're doing what they need to do with the ball and keeping it close. As they started playing close there a little bit, Riggle Beans all the way back. He has no boost. And then I was like, again, he keeps the ball close. He's not banging the ball away. You would think with a person with no boost would bang the ball away, but KRS is banging the ball and dunking on everybody now on the goal line of the wheelchairs, and this game is tied up. 2-2 two two with 22 seconds left, and we might be seeing what we saw in Game 1 in overtime. 2-2 two two with 22 seconds, a perfect 2 across the board, but can they find a kickoff here? The wheelchairs have a lot of kickoffs up sleeves, but it's going to be going straight to Little Panda. Little Panda can't get around one, but gets the air demo. And with zero boost, he's just going to go for it. He's going to go for the 50. He can't get it. Good effort <laughs> there, but the 50 going to come back to him, but no one's there. Little Panda saves him again. 
Little Panda, no boost. This is the time to attack because one of the best defenders has zero boost here. It's a chip up. He's looking for it. No. If he gets control of this, you gotta think, no, it's a bomb. He runs right into him. Oh. And Little Panda is just gonna let it die there. And the Great Whites escape again. And you gotta think, we can't keep doing this, but we might get a flashback of game two. Can he get around it? No, oh. he can't. But here comes another one, but again, Lil Panda comes out of nowhere. KRS needs to go up, doesn't get the ball. We had a double commit. Lil Panda's on zero. 50. Press a 50, hopes it helps. Possibly Zach this might kill it for the game. Oh, no. It's a save from KRS. And right now, Wicked, I don't know what the Great Whites are doing and what those comms sounding like, but I know it's sheer panic because you cannot drop this game here. Exactly. I've been in a situation before last season and Zach with a flip to secure game three and get a dub in overtime in game three. A must need a dub in this series. And Wiggle Bean Wrangler was just awkward all alone with no boost, unable to get the save in a crucial moment in game three. But the Great Whites have secured game three to make the series two to one. And now the Great Whites have all the momentum that they need to bring the series back and possibly win a championship, Carnage. Yeah, you're sitting here, you're thinking, you're thinking, you know, we're getting back into this, but is it doesn't look convincing. They won this game, yes, but it didn't look convincing because we had the wheelchair just a night after another little panda doing everything he could it is only says three saves but in reality he probably had like seven or eight if he didn't make a touch or two so you got to think now can a great whites ride this momentum and stay out of their defensive half because now when you're up to zero and then you drop a game a team might play more defensive so this might be the blood in the water for the great whites to literally start attacking them and I think one thing that I didn't notice in this game was the Great Whites kind of uh, changed up their play style where the past couple games they were kind of just giving away possession to the wheelchairs and wheelchairs were kind of doing what they wanted to do. Instead, the Great Whites decided to just slow everything down. It was a simple change. It was a it was a efficient change to help them get a win. Yes, they went to overtime, but they ended up winning it. If you, It doesn't matter if you win by a inch or a mile, winning is winning. And they managed to get a crucial Game 3 win. But enough of game three. We're going into game four. Series up two to one hit an elite season 20 championships. Grand Wee looking to get a 50 on KRS. KRS denies him. And uh, Gumwee able to 50 him. Looking to set something up. He backflips. Lil Panda has no boost though. Neither does Wiggle Bean Wrangler. So Gumwee here. Grand Wee gets a touch. Gumwee passes it back to him. KRS denies anything to move back forward. And now we're starting to see. The Great White start to pick up momentum on offense and it sets the stuff up. And both of these teams are trying to do some like free play stuff. They're trying to do some absolute freestyling here in this in this championship <laughs> game. It was a great pass, but no one's there. But possibly that goes oh. on the one gets another. But there was a there there's all three waiting in the net. They sent one, the other two just kind of watched and waited. No, there's gonna be a oh. fake here. But a little panda doesn't fall for the fake. He sees him. It's up, but no, he overcommits. Oh. KRS just had to wait. Now they're running into each other. What is game four? Because both teams are playing a little bit different. There might be a goal. No, to so say by possibly Zach is going up. Can they get another shot off? No. But he just parks right in front of him. The orange team decides if we can't if we can't keep you in, we're just going to park in front of you and keep your car right here. But here comes the great whites. They're circling. They're looking for it. Gets one. Can he get back to it? No. They're just going to go around and see what's happening. Makes them use all their boosts smart strategy but if you get beat it doesn't oh. matter possibly zach gets a hand on it now we're gonna go back the other way 2v1 he just picked up 100 boots can he flick around him yes oh. he does it's krs getting it to the back post see him going for the boost and boost over ball i'll punish you for it and it seems like right now krs has been stepping up in a big way with his speed he's picked picked up the momentum he realized what they this team needed to get a mental reset and they have and another lead for the Great Whites in these crucial moments in this series as Granwe denies that lead to tie this game up and reset back to zero. And Gumwe with a big fake 50 looked like. That was an absolutely awkward 50 there for Grant uh, Gumwe. I, I, I was, that was actually some crazy stuff. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if... And the way that they set up is definitely calculated because they read it perfectly. So you got to 
realize they were calling fakes and it almost went for a three-man passing play possibly that's going to throw it off he's going to make a marker here there's not a lot of booze they need one of the wiggles to stay on one's now chasing them they're forcing them into these weird situations it becomes a blocker stops them but it's a little too high if he was a little bit more patient it was an open net because no one was there here comes possibly zach understands the read here little penna needs to be careful little penna is not careful gets punished for it with a with a panic side flip handing them the lead at 2-1 Possibly try to get it out a little panic probably could just let it run But again the panic that the wheelchairs have enforced on their great whites every time they're in their house Something's gonna happen to them Yeah, I have to agree with you This is turning out to be an interesting game four and this is like one of these games that Yes, we saw last game. It was a crucial victory that needed to happen for the great whites But they also need to win this game too. you know get Get that momentum boost forward to tie the series up instead of coming down and going into match point, which is what the wheelchairs are trying to do. And Grand Wee trying to set something up and make that happen with a security goal, but got denied. Going Wee looking for a double tap. Maybe get on the highlight reel and gets denied by Lil Panda on the goal line. And a big 50 by Lil Panda. And there's demos starting to come out for the wheelchairs. And they're looking for bumps too. Starting to try to open stuff up more. They're not comfortable with just one goal. They want another. Grand Wee has to bang the ball away. A big whiff comes out by KRS. Grand Wee looking to steal some boost. He steals the boost right before he dies. Wiggle Bean up. Looking to redirect, and which he does, and he secures the top left redirect. And Gum Wee and Wiggle Bean Wrangler, you guys are wiggling all the beans right now and putting on a clinic there. Putting a security goal in. One minute, 56 seconds left here in game four. And the wheelchairs are looking to put the Great Whites on match point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the avatar of the last airbender decal. And he's just bending in the air. But right now, can the Great Whites get right back into it? No. It's going to be a bang all the way back. That looks like for a redirect with zero boost. Doesn't work out. They're going to take another one to the corner, though. Make it awkward here. Looks for any whiff doesn't get the whiff and they can just kill the time by running back dodges the demo he had to hear or see it coming he goes over one looking for a two look for the dunk cannot get the dunk and right now the great whites need to start pushing back they need to start taking this midfield boost if they have to they might just have to start just chasing them one after another take a page out of turtles book and just start chasing people downfield because they're not allowing anything to come out of that the ball goes up in the air now possibly has zero but he has a flipping in store doesn't work. Little uh -oh. Panda has a complete whip. It's like it's gonna be an open net, and they're gonna walk away with game four here, folks. Unless the hammer or the great white just change oh. something, because Little Panda had it read, but I don't think he read it fast enough. And that's that's the split second that you know of Wicked in the lead. It only takes that half that half second to throw you off. You're getting punished. Absolutely, and Lil Panda was just a little too close there on defense, pushing up too far. Yes, I understand that you're down two goals and everything's on the line here, but you have to play patient. You guys have to come back in the series as Grand Wee looks to get another goal, add more extra security. 50 seconds left here. The, the wheelchairs are up three goals, and they're looking to wiggle their way into game five with match point on the great whites and it was definitely i honestly in my opinion with the wheelchairs and the way they've been playing in this series is they had a big confidence boost winning that game one in overtime against the great whites who have absolutely just dominated in playoffs this this season and a lot and especially the fact that there's two players on the great whites to have two championships so this is like a home for them and then the, them knowing that they can beat this team it's just absolutely crazy. 10 seconds here, and it looks like the wiggle chairs, or I'm sorry, the wheelchairs are going to be taking this game five and put the Great Whites on match point. Taking it indeed and taking it in fashion. 3 1 to the wheelchairs. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be where the Cinderella stories of all those sweets from the Great Whites comes back to bite them. Because it looks like the wheelchairs have turned them back to being normal. And if you're if you're the GM right now for the wheelchairs, you're spinning in your wheelchair right now. They're dominating. They only took four shots. Well, I guess, oh, actually, no, that's 11. My fault. 11 shots from Grand Wee Wiggle Bean. Just shooting one after another. They, qua or quantity over quality. 
but you're just looking at it and now you have to think three one what what has to change here because I've been in this situation as a coach and you you there's not much to say except the players really have to dig deep. Like I said, they changed their play style. It worked. The wheelchair saw it. They changed just a, quite a, a little bit. And then all of a sudden, they just stomp you out the next game. So at this point, Wicked, you, you got to ask yourself, does somebody really need to step up here just become a, a complete annihilator? You try team plays, it's not working. Now, does somebody need to just start trying to solo them like they're a first killer? I really, honestly, I, I, as a great whites team, the player that I need to see step up right now is KRS. KRS is, he's fast, he's efficient, and he's very consistent. And he needs to start sp- picking up his speed a little bit and getting his team, just putting his team on the backpack, essentially. And his team, he, what he should do is tell his teammates, hey, go up there and set up disruptions. I'll sit back. I'll come in to clean up. That's what the Great Whites need to do here. They're going into game six, and <laughs> an unfortunate start already on game six. Grant, we getting a big 50 in the kickoff. We've been seeing this all series with the wheelchairs winning their kickoffs, and Grand Wee gets the biggest win of all time in the kickoffs, going for the kickoff and getting a 50. And now two seconds in already, and the wheelchairs have the goal they need to win the championship. That might hurt. We're in an awkward dome, but Ken Lopin, I don't know, Lil Pen had to bail. It wasn't good enough. If they were in an awkward dome, the wheelchairs are going fishing to take them out of the water. Because here we go. The wheelchairs are going to get the ball. They're going to go up and over KRS. He's going to show something off. He gets a double tap over. Little Pat is going to come through. Denied by Wigglebean. And now they're going to clear it back out and try to get something under it. we got a little wall chain dash for a little bit. Wigglebean's going out. Just stealing moves. Going to the back wall. Harassing. Doing everything in his power. Throws it across. They're giving them, they're giving them a one-two. Going back and forth. Trying to see what can throw him off. Going east and west, north and south. Ball going all the way back down. He's going to try to take the boost. Actually, none of them have boost except one. Now two on the other end is going for the redirect, but possibly Zach cuts it out. This is where they need to start keeping the ball close. Here we go. Little Panda misses the demo. Little Panda's going to get under him. Possibly Zach put some pressure on the Little Panda. Made sure that it worked here with the ball control. As I was saying, they need to keep it close. And in keeping close, it happens. <laughs> and we're going to be wishing he had the dominance on that one. Absolutely. Yeah, he wishes he had the do- the dominance there with that little paddle. But Wigglebean looking to get a kickoff goal again. And there's more demos coming out now. But this might be a interesting situation here. <laughs> but he what a big demo a to relieve that dash. pressure. Yeah, he got a sidewall dash to get the, the demo. And he gets another demo. Now the wheelchairs are starting to beat up on the on the, the Great Whites. They are in the Great Whites' territory in the Aqua Dome. And they're the ones smelling the blood in the water right now. But here we go. The game's tied up. Essentially, the game's reset. Grand Wee gets a tap up. He doesn't have anything to follow it up. He has to play some defense here. The ball's going to go off the crossbar first. Ooh. Ooh, this oh, this is no, awesome. They're, they're, in the confusion, but they're in the confusion box. They don't know what to do. Little, and, uh, little Panda would have went. It was actually sitting perfectly on the Fennec to tee off on him. But by the time he realized, Bash is going to get shot. It's going to be Grand Wee Wiggle Beans just barely saving it with all the boosts they had. Little Panda is going to try to become a nuisance. And now the wheelchairs are getting a taste of their own medicine here where they're losing the boost. They're losing the every 50. But this is the 50 that they need to get out. Infield pass misses just barely. Gets oh. the bomb. Can he get back around it? No, they're just going to steal the boost and go right at them. Here comes a shot. Gets a dunk. Oh. It's, a, it's, a, it's a team save. and But it might be pay off as a calculator to pass because they're going right back at him. Actually, Little Panda's going to demo him out of the midfield. Here comes a 3v1. Here comes a, oh, actually, KRS was reading that. The Grand Wee Wigglebee's not going to let him have it. Here comes Little Panda. Little Panda's going to take a shot. It might be a dink. No dink here. Here comes Grand Wee Wigglebee. Loses the ball. And right now, the Hammerheads are getting all their pressure. But the only thing that's separating from them from what they're doing and what the wheelchairs are doing is the wheelchairs were punished. And, they, and the Great Whites are just kind of swimming around out there with it. Yeah, and honestly, the Great Whites with the boost advantage that they've been having against the wheelchairs here on offense as that's a crazy double tap at Lil Panda. And what a big brain 200 IQ play by him, not banging the ball in because he knew it was going to be saved. And he gets a good little double tap off the ground. And now the Great Whites are taking the lead in their territory in the Aqua Dome, 2-1. Two, to one. Two, to, two minutes and 13 seconds left here in game six. 
Sorry, I think it's game six, right? Yeah, we're in game, yeah, game six. I oh, know game five. Game five. Three, I'm sorry, one. ladies and yeah. gentlemen. I'm I'm miscombobulated. I'm so sorry. Game five. Same here. I keep calling them the hammerheads, but again, like, they gave me PTSD, <laughs> yeah. and they're, they're going to great. Whites are actually going to get one here from Little Penna to KRS, and you said it. KRS needs to step up. He needs to start being present, and KRS is doing it when they need him most. Instead of playing more defense, he's going for more offense. And the Great Whites might just might just start wiggling their way to get a little bit closer, put some pressure on them. Because they're on triple match point. But, ladies and gentlemen, we all know the final game to win the championship somehow becomes the hardest. Every step, every every press of a button becomes the little, literal heaviest team ever. And actually, he's going to get get a lot of boost. Here. He's going for a silly play, fakes one out, but actually fakes almost the entire lobby except one. KRS is back. KRS is way, actually just rolling out, gets a pinch up. Here goes Grand Wee Wiggle. Doesn't get one. The Great Rice just need to roll the ball out, or they're not going to. Not going to be able to sustain his pressure because we've seen it time and time again. Here comes the infield pass. Here goes a whiff because he didn't have any boots. And right there, they're just waiting for him to come out. That's a pinch off. This could uh -oh. be an open goal. They need to communicate about it. And that's no. Oh, yeah. It's saved by Little Panda. And I was thinking the third man needs to shoot to get the Ooh. power. And there's another save with not a lot of boots. He needs to keep it closed. Doesn't keep it closed. Needs to get the 50. He actually gets demo just to get the 50 out. Here comes the pinch. That's a weak pinch. It might get picked off. Doesn't get picked off. Harris is going to stay with it. And the great wise avoid getting getting into trouble here. And now they're just gonna throw the, the, the wheelchairs are now just gonna throw everything at them. The great whites are trying to just sustain this two goal lead. And if they win by two goals, Wicked, you gotta think they get the momentum back because the last time it was just one, but this time they it's a very commanding win for them. Absolutely. Winning a game like this, being under match point, having to make a reverse sweep. When all oh, the he the fake, yeah, yeah, he's, he's coming in a big out. way, and this dude just put on a freaking highlight clinic, faking out two defenders, going under him, and getting a ground pinch, and <laughs> that is definitely the momentum that they need right there. That that highlight reel has to be the momentum that just brings them into this comeback. But we do not want to get too confident because we don't want to give the caster curse, obviously. <laughs> but. <laughs> Either way, there's still the Great Whites making a big statement here in Game 5 and getting a win that they definitely need because right now, if they lose, they're done. So they're they're just like, you know, we got to get a big win here. And they did absolutely here in Game 5. And it just seems like they're just keeping their heads attached to themselves as the wheelchairs look or, are looking to get rid of that momentum and they get a zero-second goal. But either way, it does not matter. The Great Whites have to take Game 5. And the series is three to two. Three to two. The Great Whites get one. They might have gave one at the end, but hey, you win four two. Now he said KRS stepped up when you, when asked of, and, but that last goal, you gotta think that's going on. That's going on the end of the season highlight reel right there. You got you didn't just get one. You got two, and they both had enough boost to do something about it. Definitely, and as I said, KRS needed to step up. He did it in a big way. Gave them the big momentum swing that they need. And he didn't put him in the backpack, but he did say it in the backpack. Lil Panda taking this MVP. And now the wheelchairs are in a situation where they're like, okay, you know, we got this. We got this last game. We need to win. But again, I was in the situation last season where we were up three to one. And this is the same situation. We had to win one more, but it was just stressful. It's, it's a stressful thing to deal with because it's like you got one more win. And, you know, you're, you're the other team and you guys are going to ball out and try to do everything you can to prevent anything from happening, prevent losing a chance to win a championship. But the Great Whites are trying to shut that down and try to do a reverse sweep. I would absolutely love to see a Game 7 here. But we're going to go into Game 6. We're going into Neo Tokyo. Can the Great Whites beat the wheelchairs here in Game 6 and take us to Champions Field? Oh. Right now, the players got to hold on. Somebody got kicked out go. alive. They'll be right back. But to Neo Tokyo is rainy. It's dark because one one team's in a dark place and the other one is one step away from championship glory. And right here, you got to think whoever gets the first goal might just change everything about this. The Great Whites had all the momentum coming out. Of that, even though they gave up that last goal, 
But if you think the wheelchairs get one, do they buckle down or do they actually start hammering? Because they have kickoffs for him. Here comes that kickoff as we were talking about. He gets it. But it doesn't, can he get the flick up? No, it looks like at the last second it kind of chipped away from him. But Grand Weeds is going to pinch it across. They're going let. They're, here we go. We're to go east to west, and eventually they get spaced out. A little pennant gets over one. Gets over, actually he might get demoed here. Doesn't balls up. Here we go, going across east to west again. Possibly Zach gets the dunk, but no one's going to follow up. But there's a follow up. There's a 50 from Panda. Now Panda's going to start chasing him, possibly starts annoying him. Panda uh -oh. gets the demo. Now there's a team bump that might push him, put him into pressure because the wheelchairs don't care if they have 100 boosts or zero boosts. They're not going to let you out. They're going to start bumping you back. And now the Great Whites need to find a way to get out. And actually, KRS can't get that redirect, but it did fake out Wrangler. Wrangler's got to hold on to the ball, almost gets dunked into his own net. Then we're going east and west again. And right here, it looks like the hammerheads are actually picking up from where they're left off. But now it, now it comes back to they need to finish it, Wigan, because they don't get the goal and the wheelchairs get one. You think you start spelling doom in big letters out there on the field. Yeah, and as you were saying, this a lot of these teams in this game six. It's like the wheelchairs, they need to win this game to win the championship. But the Great Whites also need to win this game to get to, get to game seven to possibly win the championship. So now both of these teams are like, okay, this is what we need to do. We need to not panic, but there's a lot of panic coming out on both teams. Both of these teams are just trying to almost essentially like game one, but <laughs> possibly Zach in the right mindset gets a shot that was just absolutely open. I don't know where Wigglebean went. Wigglebean Wrangler went for boost. He just decided to boost every ball and said, nah, I'm not going to sit in the net. But Zach's like, okay, you're not going to sit in the net. I'm just going to shoot on your net. And now the Great Whites are up one goal, three thirty minutes, thirty seconds left. You're just gonna shoot on the net, and he had uh oh, there comes that kickoff. It gets a demo. This might open up a lot. He's on the back. Can't get the double. Went a little bit too far. But with possibly in your name, you always got to think they can possibly win here. But they're gonna be in danger. But he's gonna keep it up in the air. Little pen has zero. He needs to tip it again. Here comes possibly somebody. There's a double oh. commit. If they if they can't get to this ball, they might be in trouble here. No, they almost try to set him up for a one-two quick shot, which you don't see often here. And it's gonna go all the way back. Everybody's reloading on booze. And here we go, going right back out. Here comes Wrangler. A little bit too far. They're trying to keep it closed. The Great Whites know they're up by one. They don't need to force the issue. But you can't be all huddled up in your net because here comes possibly Zach. Possibly Zach steals 100. He's going to go steal the other 100 while I'm on his POV. But here comes the wheelchairs, 2v2 down on the side. Ball goes all the way back down. Here comes possibly. Possibly gets beat out. Here comes Wrangler. Wrangler's going to throw one to the back wall. Can he get a double? Can somebody get a double? No, it's going to be straight down, but there's a demo from the midfield. But now oh. it's going to be an open to no. Little Panda with just 10 boosts. Every time we're on him, Wicked, he has 10 boosts, but making the save. Absolutely. And Little Panda just had a shot put on registered with a little bit of boost. And now the. The Great Whites are doing what the wheelchairs have been doing all series long. They're taking boost. They're looking for bumps and demos. And now Gumby's taking all the boost. They're just taking, they're just like, this is like smash mouth everywhere. Like, just absolutely crazy. These teams are showing that they have no respect for each other. Taking boost and demoing each other. It's absolutely just a slugfest out here. No team wants to give up, give up a loss. Nobody wants to win. Well, everybody wants to win, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, oh, Gumwee taking this ball. He gets a pinch with no boost. Takes mid boost. This might be an opportunity here for the wheelchairs. Can they set something up? Grand Wee getting a pass forward. I'm sorry, Gumwee. There's a too many weeds and <laughs> wiggle beans, and it's it's hard to read everybody who's who is who. Gumwee's up in the midfield, keeping it on the side of the Great Whites. Gumwee. All the time go over the infield. That was Grand Wee. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. What a save by Wigglebean Wrangler. Oh, he's starting to swing the counter. He gets to 100. He's looking for the demo. He's actually chasing KRS. KRS is panicking because that pitch came out of nowhere. But now it's going to be the all the way around. Oh There's the God. demo. He's not going to be able to get to him in time. Little Panda is just going to muscle his way in after possibly Zach opens the path for him. And that was just a while, like 10 seconds. We thought the wheelchairs had it. And all of a sudden, we're going back the other way for a demo. This is absolutely crazy. The Great Whites are bringing back what they brought in with them in Game 5. Absolutely just dominating on offense and taking boost. And Wigglebean Wrangler has something else to say about that as he finally, as the wheelchairs have finally put up a shot and goal. I wouldn't say shot, but a goal oh. for finally out of this four minutes that have been played. 
you know, they 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 got to get this dub. They gotta they gotta tie this game up. They want to get a championship win or an opportunity to do so. Little Panda has something else to say about it. Wiggle Bean Wrangler taking it in the corner. Possibly Zach with an absolute banger of a shot. Grand Wee has to jump up to get a 50. And Gun Wee up. Gets the ball forward. Wiggle Bean Wrangler up. We've seen this before. Redirect. It gets saved away by possibly Zach with no boost. Gun Wee up with a 50. Denied yet again on the goal line for the Great Whites. A pass back. And this oh, is a no. bad opportunity right here. This is not good. And an unfortunate pass back. And Lil Panda said, I am going to destroy you guys and absolutely make you guys pay for that mistake and Grand Wee has to be beating himself up here with that unfortunate throw of a back pass and it just seemed like they didn't communicate that at all whatsoever and now the Great Whites have another security goal looking to take the wheelchairs to game 7 you got you got to think are the wheelchairs starting to feel the pressure yeah, actually it doesn't like to feel the pressure at all at least Wranglers Second time he gets the goal right after they get one. Wrangler is trying to will his team, at least in game six, to get at least into overtime right now. And for what credit is due, KRS is not doing a lot with 42 points as his teammates are sitting at 400. And you got to think if they lose this game or if this game comes back to overtime, you got to think it, it does take three people. Three people to win. You got to do something. Little Panda is trying to harass them. Now the ball's up and over. No one's going to shoot. Now it's going to get out. That was Wrangler. Wrangler's going to be right behind everybody. As Wiggle Bean's going forward. They got six seconds left. They just stole every oh, boost. No. But the ball goes up and over. Little Panda throws it downfield. He's got to control it. He does not. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of pressure. On, there is a lot of pressure on the wheelchairs now to close it out after being on triple match point. Ladies and gentlemen, reset. The series because now it's a one game takes all series. Absolutely, and you know all the pressure you were saying about the wheelchairs getting that last victory that they need to secure a championship for that team. At the same time, the Great Whites were under all the pressure too because they were under triple match point. They had everything against them, and they kept their composure. They kept their cool. They didn't give up. They told each other, "Hey, let's get this dub, guys. Let's keep on pushing. Let's push these guys back." And now the Great Whites are smelling that blood in the water. They're sharp, they're circling the wheelchairs like they're lunch meat. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a game seven here in the Elite Finals, like we saw last season. And this is gonna be exciting. But it will go to overtime. We'll never know. We're gonna be going into game seven here, though. And Champions Field, Elite Season, <laughs> Season 20, Elite Championship Finals. Crazy. I, I'm just I, – it's crazy. I'm all over the place right now. I'm just super excited. <laughs> I wanted a game seven for this this elite – this. this. I, I wanted a game seven. Oh, yeah, you wanted we a got game it. seven. We got one. The wheelchairs actually won a game seven. Maybe this was, they were setting this up. They wanted to win it on the biggest stage of them all. You see those championship banners? You think, I got to get me one of those. And here we go. It's going to kick off. The ball's going to go straight to the orange half. Here comes Lopan. Lopan has the boost. This is not what you want to see. Lopan oh. had almost all the goals. Doesn't get one. Here comes the great whites. But the third man is going to bail out. Actually, the bell is going to come in, but he flicks it high. Here's another one. And it's shot after shot. The wheelchairs are literally Falling apart, everything is just going wrong, and the Great Whites have circled them, attacked them, and ripped them to shreds with only 12 oh, seconds in. Goodness, and that's what wicked, you got to start thinking they are panicking on all <laughs> on all cylinders right now. Oh. Uh, that's just gonna be a lot bad. Grand we wiggle be uh, uh, you know. And let, let's restart this game. Let's restart this game right here, right now. We're back where it's where it's left off. And now 15 seconds in, we're at 1-1. One, one. We might get a shootout here, Wicked. We might, indeed. And what was unfortunate there at the beginning for the uh, for the wheelchairs that the Great Whites were able to play off of was Gumway had a, D a controller disconnect and was AFK. I noticed it. But now Wiggle Bean Wrangler is like, you know what, man? You have that control, DC. You can just sit back a little bit. We're getting a good pass, though. Wiggle Bean Wrangler gets the second goal for the wheelchairs and the wheelchairs are like you know we should have won a couple games ago but now we are destined to win this game and the great whites can they respond off of those two quick goals from the wheelchairs there's two quick goals the, the wheelchairs you would think they dropped three games to give up the first goal but they reset so fast but now he's getting demoed on the back end actually no it bounces 
if there was any time that you wanted to say Sonic favor somebody, this would be the time. Oh. The ball gets dunked. No one's going to be there because they don't need to rush it. They're up 2-1. Ball gets flicked up. They don't have enough boost. Somebody needs to go up and challenge them. Wrangler's going to corral it with six boosts. Wrangler doesn't need to do anything but just hold on to the ball. But there's a good win right there. But Little Panda blobs it up. They don't want this to be a danger. And right, the Little Panda. Little Panda's going to try to get something out of it. No, it gets 50. Going to look, look for the 100 boost, boost over ball. So flick over one. Can't get past two. And right now, the Hammerheads are now giving the wheelchairs again another taste of their own medicine. Because here comes Possibly Zach. But Possibly Zach puts him in for boost. He's going for the demo. Oh. Can't get it. The ball's out, but Zach is going to tap it in. Oh. No, it's just another save. Zach, all he had to do was use the the front of his car. Like he tried to sideways turn because he mistimed it. And it, it, this one might bite them here if they get scored on. If they lose this match, the ball can go there. It looks like KRS is going for a ride down the field. And Wicked, we are watching some, uh, I would say, some of the craziest Rocky League. Because at one point, they look like they're playing a little bit like SSLs. And for the next, they're playing a little bit like the Amateur League down there. No, no, no straight <laughs> shots for them. But sometimes, things are just going crazy. But right now, KRS is actually stepping up. But it looks like better for none as right now they're down 1-2. Yeah, and the wheelchairs right now are, are playing clinical rocket league on the defense and offensive side they're looking like the og nrg days back in rlcs x when you had squishy garrett and justin with the way that they saved the ball making goal line saves as krs has to make a goal line save there as he was last back and he manages to clear the ball with no boost grand we denying him mid boost this might be an opportunity for the wheelchairs to get security goal low pain and denies anything to happen and the wheelchairs are starting to steal more boost they're starting to the Great Whites are starting to feel the pressure. Can they get another goal to tie this game up? Lil Panda sends the ball back downfield. Has no boost. Gumwee denying anything to forward progress here. Gumwee up. He beats one defender. This is oh, an open no. net. Can Grant Wee get a redirect? He does. And Grant Wee Wigglebee with the big shot of his career putting a security goal in for the wheelchairs and the wheelchairs have to hold off for two more minutes to get a championship dub can they do it or will the great whites make a comeback and bring us to overtime i think the wheelchairs have played right into their own hands because we see them play lockdown defense they only want a two goal lead but anything else that you give them is going to be at your own expense they know the hammerheads have to come out of that shell they have to use every bit of boot just to beat them and right there Wrangler just letting him smash the ball, acting like he wants to 50 and then moves. That way he just misses it. It's going to be a shot to the back post from Ooh. Little Panda. Hold the phone, folks. Ooh. We're right back where we left Ooh. off with one goal up. And then look, all Larry was caught in the, or Wickle was caught Ooh. over there in the, just a mixtape, just going in circles. Then the pass are a shot. Give Little Panda some ice. He had a lot of heat behind that shot. They put the Great Whites between one. Gumwee has something else to say, though. They're denying again in the midfield. Looking to get a 50 forward. Possibly Zach gets a flip reset. Little Panda takes it back into the corner. He starts to bring it forward. He gets bumped forward. Takes boost, though. Looking for demos. Wigglebean. Oh, no. Wrangler. Might be a mistake. Keeping his composure. Can this be a double tap? Yes, it is. Gumwee Wigglebean able to rally up the ball and give another security goal. Wigglebean Wrangler. Did a wonderful job with control and Gumwee Wigglebean able to put the fourth goal in for the wheelchairs. Can the wheelchairs hold on to this lead or will the Great Whites smell that blood in the water again to get another goal? We have a minute 25 seconds left here. We might be crowning ourselves a season 20 elite champion here soon. They're right there, the wheelchair are just waiting for him. KRS got caught going too far. They might get him again, but it doesn't work for not. But the wheelchairs have a game plan. We're up by one. Let them come in. And the second that I, they, we even think that they're coming up too far, let's bring the trap on them. They're right there, the wheelchairs are just throwing numbers, just confusing them. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter when. They just want the ball to not go into their net. Any, any goal right here, you might think it might be a huge momentum chaser because you do have winners on the other side that they just need one goal but right here possibly zach needs to get an infield pass they're not gonna let little panda shoot no more he got one goal they said you're not getting the second one on us balls up 
pop and are looking, care are snaking around. They're all trying to find a way to get in. But right now, the wheelchairs don't care how much boost they have. They're just going to throw everybody up. Now they have none. They have stolen every boost pad over there. And now the wheelchairs need to find out. But possibly that gets a little bad touch. Because over one, gets around two. There needs to be somebody to put it away. It's going to be little Panda. He's been here before. This is ice in his veins with 21 seconds. But... Thank you for the shot because possibly Zach went 2v1 just to give him an open shot. And if you're the wheelchairs here, do you play conservative or do you try to get the goal? Honestly, man, if I was playing for the wheelchairs, I'd be saying, look, we need to uh, keep the ball close. We need to bait them in and play them 50s. We have 17 seconds left here. Wiggle Bean Wrangler getting a good double tap. Killing a lot of time. Time killer with a big 50. 10 seconds left here. Can the Great Whites make a rally? Gumwee has something else to say about it. Hits the ball back downfield. Three seconds left. Can KRS put it up? He oh does. No, he just banged and it. it's still up. It's still up. Oh, he, he, he gets the goal. He, it. he gets the goal. He, KRS coming in a big way. Putting this to game seven over time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to a game seven. Wiggle Bean thought it was just going to hit the ground. And it oh did. My God. But instead of backflipping just to secure it, the wall punishes them for it and now well no oh. the great whites are smelling the blood in the water they understand that they the morale might be down he's going across the net that's a dangerous thing to do KRS has a hundred boost he has none a little panic can actually turn no possibly that's gonna go oh. it might be an open day he's looking for a bump can't get the bump the wheelchairs are still wailing from what happened to him they need to get out right now and they do with me he's gonna try to get all the way out that was gummy and here comes Wrangler Wrangler gets one but now it's a one on one KRS looking for the shot KRS goes way too wide but you got a little pen on the back end gets the bump oh right, here we go now we're going fast paced the last 30 seconds they've went back and forth Three different occasions. Now it's going to oh. be a shot. It's going to be an open net. Yes, it oh. is. No, he shoots it right up. It's going to be a punch in from Gumwee Wigglebean. And ladies and gentlemen, the wheelchairs escape. But it doesn't matter how you win it, like you said, Wicked, as long as you have that trophy in your hands. The wheelchairs pull off the big upset of the playoffs in Elite, beating the team that swept all the way up to the finals. And what a crazy come out we had. What great content that both of these teams put out. But the wheelchairs were the, the best of the best in Elite. Ladies and gentlemen, your season 20 Elite champions are the wheelchairs, a.k.a. the wiggle chairs. Oh my gosh, Carnage. What a freaking series that we had. Absolutely insane. You, <laughs> I am you got to beat those last 30 seconds was probably the longest 30 seconds of both their lives before us. It went so fast. We wish it would have went for an extra 430 just to get an extra game in. But credit to where credit is due, the wheelchairs are your season 20. And not to rush anything, but who was the MVP? Because that series, it everyone did something in that series. Oh my goodness, man! I look. I have. Uh, it, it. This is going to be a very hard decision. It's uh, it's very. It's it's hard to choose. Um, honestly, man, Grand Wigglebean Wrangler, man, Wigglebean Wrangler. I have to. I have to. Uh, I got to give this man the MVP. He. He was setting his teammates up really well that whole series. He was, you know, he was clicking really well with Gumwe, um, just being an all-around player, looking looking for opportunities to come in and be that line in the grass waiting to strike and what he did. And I feel like he just kept his team's composure just the way he was moving around in the field. I always read car language. Every single time I play Rocket League, I'm always reading car language. And just the way that he was moving around the field, it just seemed like, he was the one to keep the composure of his teammates. And it just seemed like his other two teammates just seemed like they were kind of like a little and kind of playing a little edgy just the way they were playing. But the way that Grand Wigglebean Wrangler was just playing and just keeping his teammates composed, I have to give MVP to Wigglebean Wrangler. If I had to choose a great white MVP, it would be KRS. KRS played absolutely well he stepped up when he needed to managed to bring his team to game seven unfortunately the great whites were not able to pick up the dub but overall mvp is going to be wiggle bean wrangler for me yeah for me too it's got to be wiggle bean wrangler but oh my 
thinking, you know, you drop three games and there's like, I don't know, we might be in trouble here. We dropped it all the way and then the first goal happens and you're like, oh no. And then they start fighting back and then they start fighting back. It just goes back and forth. And it really came down to, you know, who was more aggressive because Wiki, I'm pretty sure we got thousands of cars in that junkyard right now because they were just demoing each other left and right. And they just, it's just a who blinked first. The chat was just going crazy with just a amount of sheer just back and forth. Absolutely. Just everybody, everybody on all sides of chat rooting for the great whites, rooting for the wiggle chairs, a.k.a. the wheelchairs. It was just absolutely great just to cast this, this finals. I, I had a feeling it was going to go to game seven. Both of these teams played super well during the season. The Great Whites not having the best of season, but able to come into the playoffs and put on a performance the way they did to make the run up to the finals is absolutely mind-blowing, the teams that they were beating. Some of the teams that they beat, just some of the players on those teams were absolutely just cracked out of their minds. So shout-out to both of these teams. Both of these teams played well. Every single elite team all played super phenomenally. Ladies and gentlemen, what a just what what both <laughs> two series we had two banger series and i think we need to close out here close out indeed brady give your boys a pat on the back they fought with a lot of honor a lot a lot of writing for that franchise and then for ladies hey go celebrate with them it's gonna be it's a party on a monday but two great series regardless of how how both the series or how someone looked at it, I think we we got everything we wanted out of this championship today. Both championships. I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great. It's been fun. We enjoyed your guys' time. We all hope that you guys have a wonderful night. And make sure you guys tune in here on RC Solar on Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the rival final. And to close out season 20, we have the veteran finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great. Me, Wicked, signing off with Carnage and Taz being the GOAT producer. We love you all. Have a good night.